everybody welcome back to the mojo grip mike plane showcase mike here today i've got something special for you guys you know i'm very big on experimental planes and today we're gonna check out an experimental jet that's been built in this hangar we're checking out the subsonics stay tuned no kidding guys this particular plane have been requested several times and we've actually covered it once before on the channel if you're not familiar with the Sonics brand, uh, Sonics makes experimental kits. And this here, this is a jet. <laughs> this tiny thing you see in front of me, this is a jet. And this is actually their top of the line model. You can get the piston models with the Sonics B. Uh, that has two seats. You also have the one, one X, they call it, that has one seat just like this jet, but they all run on piston engines. And what set this plane apart is this right here. This bad boy. That's a jet engine. All of this, okay? As small as it is, this thing is packing so much power compared to a piston engine. And we'll talk about it. So guys, this Subsonics, they've been building it for about six, seven months now. And as you can see, it's almost complete. And this is a jet that you can build in your own garage, or you can get a bunch of friends to build one for you. Uh, you see, it's it's a very simple plane, so this is not a plane that's going to take you 2,000 hours to build. The body kit itself, you've got fiberglass for the nose here, and aircraft-grade aluminum. Uh, similar thin, if you guys have been watching my uh, Sling TSI build, this is a similar material that you have uh, for that plane. And you see, again, this one is almost complete. You've got the pedo to right there. And something very unique about this plane, like any other jet you'll find, is that you have retractable landing gear. As you see, nose wheel there. And the other two wheels back there. They're very tiny, but they retract. And that's how you get all the speed and performance with this plane. That and also something interesting I should show you on the wings. You see some flush rivets here. So that allows for less drag also. And again, you look at this plane and you see just how simple it is. Now, I've never built one. I will probably talk to one of the builders here and they can tell you more on what it takes to build one. Because I'm saying it's simple to build, but I've never actually built one myself. But... If you look here, again, this is a one-seater. You see the cabin. This is a plane that you're you're literally wearing this thing. There's no room to move around. You sit in it, and you wear the plane, and then you just go fast, okay? So you've got the cabin in here. I'm going to get the, uh, the actual width of the cabin, and I'll post it in the description below. Make sure you check it out. But let's just go through it. You see you have a side stick, okay? And that allows for this armrest here. So this is not a mistake, this is by design. So when you're flying this bird, you basically rest your arm here and your hands on the control stick. Uh, if you look on the panel here, uh, we've got one main avionics, which is MGL. I'll tell you more details about that in a little bit. But something interesting you should also see is that you've got a parachute. Uh, this is a pull for your parachute and down here you've got your master switches your fuel pumps and something interesting also looking at the size of this plane you've only got four <laughs> literally four circuit breakers that's it so not a lot of electronics here and if you can see all the way to the bottom you've got your rudder pedals now those rudder pedals are adjustable depending on your size so if you're on the taller side, you may be able to adjust the, the rudder pedals because you can't adjust these seats. Uh, now, speaking of the seats, they are comfortable. I sat in it before and I'll sit in it again so you guys can see. Uh, the seat is very comfortable. Uh, it's not bad. Again, you just don't have a lot of room. You're going to be wearing this plane. But something also interesting is, look, your gas tank is right behind you. Okay, so... You want to have that in mind whenever you're flying this thing. This is a 40 gallon uh, gas tank here. And you probably have about an hour, maybe an hour and a half if you're flying this plane. So you've got your gas tank. And then if you look in here, 
That is a parachute bag. That's your parachute right there also sitting behind you. You've got your rocket in place. And the way the, the parachute system works is once that is actuated, in the case of an emergency, you have a rocket that will shoot up back here. So it's going to split all of this open and then hopefully the rocket is going to grab the uh, the parachute out of the bag and then you have a safer landing. But speaking of, let's talk about this engine. This is your jet engine, turbine. This only uses Jet A and I mean this this is just incredible to me that this is this is the power that's gonna move you. I've never seen anything so small, but these things are very powerful, and the price tag will also tell you. Uh, this engine by itself costs more than the entire kit, more than the entire plane. Uh, the engine is $65,000, okay? This is a PBS TJ100. This is a powerful engine. Don't let the size fool you. You've got about 240 thrust. Uh, that you'll be putting out with full power in this thing. Now, the way turbine engine works, it's it's a much simpler system than a piston engine because you have less moving parts. So with this plane in particular, if you look in there, obviously you, you see your, your turbine fan in there. So this right here, this is your starter. They call it a starter generator. And you've got two batteries up on the nose and that battery will power up this starter. And once this starter you know, switches on your engine, guess what happens? This now becomes an electric generator. So this becomes your battery. You've got about 30 amps of battery power. And with the power that you're getting once the engine is turned on, the power that you're getting from this, that's what's gonna turn on your avionics and every other electronic system you have in there. And then the other two batteries you have up front, they just become backup. So if you look up front in the panel, actually, first let me show you, see, one thing you notice is you've only got one control here. That's your throttle. That's your throttle, and you should understand that a turbine engine works differently from a piston engine. So with turbine, it's computerized for the most part, so you don't need a mixture or a prop lever. There's no propeller, okay? So all you have here is your throttle, and everything is controlled. Uh, electronically and uh, as I said before you have on the right side your control stick and then if you look at the panel here I've showed you the parachute uh, you've got your RPM gauge here and another thing again in a piston engine for example this would be like a thousand two thousand and normally you can probably see it on your screen but you see here with turbine or at least this particular turbine engine, it's all percentage uh, when it comes to your RPM. Right here, you've got your brakes for the plane and you pull it this way to actuate that. And then this is your nose trim. Uh, very interesting uh, place to put it, but it works. It's right in sight and you can, you can touch it. Now, let me show you this avionics. This is an MGL uh, panel here and to turn it on, we've got our master. So I'm gonna pull this out and then turn that on, that's your master, and then we'll get the uh, the instrument on. And guys, you see me turning this on right now. Get that turned on. So we'll wait for that to come on. And if you come down here, switch for your flaps. So if I went that way, I'll show you. Actually, I'm gonna pull it and then you watch the flaps. See, that's your flaps right there. There you go. So they probably have to put a sensor there to be able to get the degree of flaps you can put in because it doesn't say it here and I'm not sure it's, it's shown on the screen yet. But hopefully they'll be able to get that in. And this red, big jumbo red thing you see here, this is the emergency pull off, power off switch. So if something goes wrong, you want to hit this. All right, take that cover up out and, and hit that to, to shut everything off and get the hell up out of there. This right now, if I was, as I'm doing this, this is running off of the batteries up front. So I mentioned there are two batteries, uh, I believe they're 12 volts each, uh, two batteries up front. But once you start the engine in the back, those two batteries become backup and the, the engine power will be what powers on all of these things. 
And the beautiful thing about this panel, again, you've only got one screen, but you've got all the data you can need up here. Now, this is not the most advanced avionics, but it, it gets the job done. That's the beautiful thing about MGL. And it's something that you can you can uh, you can code to your liking. Uh, so MGL is is good in that way. It's not all hard coded in. You can always change things to your liking. And if you wanted to change your your screen or what you're looking at, you just wrong knob there. You can change your screen to any particular view that you want. So that's the beautiful thing about this panel. You can even change it to a classic uh, six pack here. Um, so you've got everything you need with your MGL panel to turn the lights on. This is your light uh, circuit breakers. You basically push them in, and I'll show you that once I step out. Uh, but this is this is a very very simple system. And you look on this end. This is your gear up and gear down. As I said, this is a retractable landing gear. So once you're off to speed and you get off the ground, make sure you pull those uh, the the gear up. Uh, to have them and now the gears use uses air pressure so actually and I wish we could fly this thing but like I said it's right now it's still in the in the build phase they're almost done they actually taxied they did a, a speed taxi uh, a couple of days ago um, so it's 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 getting there it's gonna be complete soon uh, but something you would listen to if you were taking off right now whenever you actuate this you'd hear the poof which is the air pressure that's either releasing or taking off the the gear from the uh, to close in? Okay, so this is all of it. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I like to cover. Oh, you've got oxygen. So this aircraft, more particularly the engine, can go up to 18,000 feet. And at 18,000 feet, you probably should have oxygen on. So your oxygen system is down here. Make sure you use it at high altitude. You've got your radio. There. This is a basic uh, plane. You're not doing anything complex or doing any crazy IFR flying with this plane, uh, but it's it's a beautiful plane to fly uh, whenever you just want to go up for an hour, an hour and a half. And you see it says subsonics. Beautiful. Okay, so that is that. Let me step out and I'll show you the lights. You have your strobe light, your positioning light here. You see it's even labeled. And to turn them on, you basically push them in see that's your strobes right there and then your position I'll show you that you see strobes is the one flashing there and the red is your position in light and same on this end works as it should You've got your strobes and your position there very clean And let's turn those off. To turn them off, you just pull them back out. All right, turn this off. And master off. That's pretty sweet. That's a, that's a very neat system, in my opinion. Uh, but the airplane itself, again, this is a very, very unique design. You, I'm backing up so you can see it from afar. It's a small airplane, and we've got a bunch of planes in here, just to give you an idea of the size of this thing. So that's an airplane. This is an airplane rod right behind me. That's an airplane. And you see this is about half the size of your standard plane, uh, but it can go really fast. This may be the fastest airplane in this garage or this hangar right now. And you see also, if you look at the design of the wings, this is not a long wing. I mean, in proportion to the uh, to the body frame, the wingspan is pretty short, and that's also done intentionally because guess what? You can do aerobatics in this plane, uh, which takes me to who is going to be flying this thing? Okay, this to me, I, I call it a mini fighter jet, and you can use this plane for several missions. It's not just something you can get. You can get it as a personal aircraft or a toy, but this planes are used at air shows. They do amazing aerobatics. And so for the builder, uh, you can use it for different missions. I wouldn't use this plane for a cross country plane, but it will get you from point A to point B pretty fast. So the best way to think about this plane, if you're looking to get one, think of it as a sport bike, okay? So if you were riding a motorcycle, you know you've got your cruisers 
and then you've got your sport bike or super sport that can go really fast and that's the best analogy that I can use for this plane is you're not going far but wherever you're going you're gonna get there much faster again speaking of the performance uh, you can go up to 230 238 miles per hour in this plane and at that speed you're burning roughly 30 gallons of fuel per hour yeah this thing can eat up fuel okay it can be thirsty <laughs> so you're gonna be burning that much fuel but for an hour an hour and a half you can go about 200 maybe 250 miles which is not bad and there you have it guys this is the subsonics jet this jet can be had for you ready for the price so you're gonna spend about a hundred and thirty to hundred and forty thousand dollars just to get your kit your engine and everything so when you're all said and done you're looking at that price tag now again this is not an aircraft that you're gonna spend thousands of hours building it's small uh, but it is detailed oriented you wanna you wanna pay attention to detail uh, but this is a couple of hundred hours depend on who you are if you're if you're good at building stuff you can finish in in a good amount of time and if you're not if this is your first time this can take you a thousand maybe even two thousand hours but probably not that much but this is an airplane that can be built in a reasonable amount of time I didn't talk much about the tail here but you see it does have a V tail uh, but once this airplane is done and they put some paint on it you see how just beautiful it is uh, again this is a personal aircraft you can get if you just want to go up and go fast um, but also this aircraft can serve all the missions for air shows and, and different things like that but this is my review of the Sonics Subsonics I hope you guys enjoy it if you did make sure you give a thumbs up and I want to say thank you all for watching this my plane showcase it's something we worked to put together and I appreciate everyone watching everyone sharing a great way to support the channel is by becoming an MVP member you can head to mojogroup.net forward slash MVP and make sure you subscribe to the channel subscribe with notification bell on because we are putting up a video every day for July so that way you can get the notification and guys if you're interested in this plane or any other planes that has been featured either on this showcase or on the channel total make sure you send me an email at myplane at mojogrip.net you guys be safe and I will catch you on the next video